Are you ready to up your Facebook Live game with software for your Mac or PC? Then here's our take on the best Facebook Live streaming software available right now to help you decide. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Now there's a lot of Facebook Live software options available out there and we've reviewed a bunch of them individually in the past. We've also played around with a lot of other ones as well. The landscape though is always changing with constant updates. So in this video, we put all the major players head to head, comparing the pros and the cons to help you decide which is the best for your Facebook Live streams. So whether it's multi-person interviews, live screen sharing or on-screen chat, or just fancy branding or animations, Third-party Facebook Live software can unlock a huge range of functionality that you just can't get with Facebook standard apps. So in this video, we're gonna tackle my top solutions for the most popular types of Facebook Live streams, including two-person, more than two-person, and live with screen sharing capabilities. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm also gonna give you my number one tip for automatically sharing your Facebook Live links to get more of your audience onto your live streams the moment you go live. So these are in no particular order and they range in price from free to $695. What's best for you will depend on what you're looking to achieve, the platforms and devices you're using, and your budget. So make sure you stick around to hear the full six so that you don't miss out. So straight off the bat, the first one that we need to mention is the Facebook website. The easiest way to go live in a lot of cases is just to use the Facebook website with your webcam, choose to create a new post and click live, and then you're broadcasting live directly from your laptop or computer with just your webcam. So it's probably the easiest way to go live from your desktop without the need for any other software or platform. So the biggest advantage with this is that you don't need anything else. You're not paying for any subscriptions. You've literally got all that you need in the Facebook website. And with a recent update, you can now share your computer screen on your Facebook Lives just using the Facebook website as well. So the biggest disadvantages then is that you don't have any advanced control. So you don't have the ability to bring anyone else in or to really do anything fancy with your live streaming on Facebook. Option number two is to use live broadcasting or live streaming software like OBS or Open Broadcaster Software and Wirecast Studio. Now both of these are fairly complex solutions. These will give you a professional range of tools for creating professional looking live streams. Things like being able to bring in multiple camera angles and seamlessly switch between them, to have multiple screen shares, to really have a full range of control and customizability over your live streams. We have done a full comparison of OBS and comparing it to Wirecast, and I'll link that up in the cards now if you're interested in that. But one of the major differences between the two is the price. OBS, which runs on Mac, PC, and Linux, is free, 100% free. Wirecast Studio, on the other hand, which runs on both Mac and PC, currently sells for $695, which has just actually had a decent price increase from $495. The biggest difference though between the two is the level of control and customizability, and also the ease of use. Wirecast, at that price point is much, much easier to set up and use. And that's actually one of my go-to solutions for professional live streams. It's what we use for all our client projects. In the latest update though from Wirecast, where they got their price increase as well, they've actually announced a really decent feature, a really cool feature, which lets you bring in guests to interview them live seamlessly using the Wirecast software. So it'd be similar to bringing someone in on a Skype call so that you can bring someone in and interview them and go live through Wirecast as well. Now you can do a similar sort of thing with OBS and bring in guests using applications like Skype and screen sharing that Skype call, but it can get pretty complicated and pretty messy, especially when you're trying to sort out your audio issues and removing echo and yeah, it's possible, but it's definitely complicated. And that's probably the biggest thing with these two. They're not for the faint hearted. You definitely need to invest some time into OBS or Wirecast to get up to speed because you've got so much control over your live streams in there. But both of these will not only let you broadcast to Facebook Live, they'll both let you also broadcast to other live streaming platforms like YouTube Live, Twitch, Periscope, and a heap of others out there as well. 
So both great solutions if you want a really professional looking live stream with multiple cameras and yeah, complicated setups. Solution number three is a piece of software called Ecamm Live. Now the Ecamm Live will work on Mac only and you can pick it up for $29.99. So crazy cheap, especially when you're comparing it to Wirecast at $695. So what Ecamm Live will let you do is broadcast live currently just to Facebook Live, but they have announced that they will have RTMP or opening up their broadcasting capabilities to other streaming platforms like YouTube, Periscope, and others as well uh, very, very soon. They've also just announced that they're going to be integrating Skype into Ecamm Live as well. So you will have that ability to use Skype to make calls and live interviews without all the headaches that you can have using Wirecast and OBS. So that is an amazing feature and it's crazy that you're getting all of this for under $30. It's actually one of the most complete ways or most polished ways to go live on Facebook Live and to be able to see and monitor all your interactions and hearts and comments and things as you're live that you would normally get on the Facebook Live mobile app to go live from the app. So it is amazing that you get this in a desktop app. Again, it's currently Mac only. Hopefully somewhere in the future, they'll also release a PC version. But if you're on Mac, this piece of software is an absolute no brainer. Ecamm Live also lets you easily share your computer screen or playback videos as well. So if you've got videos queued up that you wanna play in your live stream, with the click of a button, you can be playing those out and it also supports local disc recording as well. So whatever you're broadcasting live, you're also saving that live stream to your computer with a one-click upload to YouTube once you've finished your Facebook live stream. So that's pretty cool. Solution number four is a really popular web platform called BeLive. So the website's BeLive.tv. So what this lets you do is run everything from your web browser so you don't need to download any software or install anything, which means that you can use this on pretty much any computer. It seamlessly connects through to any webcam or microphone that you've got set up and running on your computer, but it also makes it really, really easy for you to bring guests into your live stream. So no one needs to download or install any software. You literally just send out the link People can join a waiting room where you can see while you're live that they're there waiting and you can invite them on. So you're not limited to just bringing one guest on, you can actually have two guests on. So three people live on your Facebook live stream currently. You also get some amazing control over your Facebook live stream. So once again, you get to see from the BeLive interface all your Facebook comments. You get to see how many people are watching. You can actually promote or feature comments on your live stream. So all you have to do is when someone's made a comment that you wanna feature or promote, you click on it and it will be made big on the live stream for everyone to see. So that's an amazing feature, especially if you're gonna be doing live Q and A's with your audience, you can bring up the question or the comment that you're going to be addressing. So really cool feature and it's so easy to use. This is probably the easiest app out of all the ones we've mentioned and going to be mentioning, besides number one, the Facebook website itself. This is the easiest one to use. It's the most intuitive interface. Uh, it's really for anyone beginner through to advanced. BeLive also lets you share your computer screen easily as well. And there's also templates that are set up or presets that are set up in BeLive. So when you click them, you can change what the view or the display is like for your viewers. So with the click of a button, you can switch between a full screen view of yourself to a 50-50 screen split with yourself and someone that you've got on your live stream, or you can easily split to a three-way split where you've got three people side by side. So not only is this an amazing platform for going live, it's also really amazing how easy it is to use. To set up something like this in OBS or in Wirecast would take a huge amount of time to set up, but also to manage while you're live. Now there's four pricing options for BeLive TV. There is a free plan, which gives you 20 minutes free broadcasting twice a week. There's a light plan for $12 per month, which lets you do things like add a custom logo, branded colors, and you've got a limit of 16 broadcasts per month. Then above that, you've got your standard package, which is $20 per month. In here, the biggest difference is that it's unlimited broadcast per month. And you also get access to the advanced features like screen sharing, custard branded frames, and also early access to new features as they become available. And the other plan above that is the enterprise plan, which at $500 per month, is probably gonna rule this out for a lot of people here, with the additional features listed as telephone support, custom graphics, and custom formats as well. So I would imagine for most people, the light plan or the standard plan will be what you're after. Number five is Zoom. Now Zoom is another online platform, but this one has the big advantage of being able to bring in a heap of guests into your live streams. 
live streaming to Facebook and YouTube from Zoom is actually a relatively new feature that they've added. It did start out as video conferencing software and now they've brought in some more webinar style tools as well, which obviously let you go live on places like Facebook and YouTube. In Zoom, you get a heap of advanced controls over the people that you're bringing into your call, whether it's just you and you've got other people as guests or whether you wanna bring other people in as panelists or co-hosts, whether their webcams are on by default or muted, or you can control all of that while you're live as well. It's also got built-in polling, it's got a built-in chat window, so you can interact with your audience while you're live from within inside the Zoom call as well. One of the big advantages with Zoom is how easy it is to create the live call of the live link and get that sent out to your participants or guests that are gonna be on the call to have the, the call automatically scheduled and entered into your calendar. So there's a heap of really professional functionality and reminders that are built in all around scheduling the call and making sure that your guests are there and in the right place and also helping them test their audio and their webcam as they join the call to make sure that everything is working. Now one of the other really powerful features of Zoom is not only does it let you record your call or your live directly to your local computer, but it also gives you the ability to record your calls and save them in the cloud as well. And when you enable the cloud recording, it actually records two files for you. It records the speaker view, which is the default view, which changes based on whoever is talking. So it's the full screen version of whoever is speaking and switches automatically. But it also gives you the gallery view as well. So if you've got a few people on there, then it will show everyone on the screen for that recording. So to have that ability that you're able to record in two separate files, the two different camera views is amazing. So in regards to pricing, in order to use Zoom for live streaming, you need to be on their pro plan, which costs $14.99 per month, but you're also gonna need to add the webinar add-on to actually go live, which costs an additional $40 per month. So in order to go live on Facebook with Zoom, you will be spending $55 per month. So now on to number six, which is Crowdcast. Now Crowdcast and Zoom are fairly similar in regards to product offering. Both of them will let you have live polling, so you can ask questions to your people watching and see the results in real time. They both have chat, they both handle questions, but Crowdcast is probably a more polished solution, at least for webinars anyway. What you get in Crowdcast though after your live stream is some really advanced detail and analytics about the people that were there, how long they stayed for, where they came in from. So the level of analytics and data that you're able to capture in Crowdcast is pretty amazing. Crowdcast also has integration with Zapier and with Drip, meaning you can get some great data and analytics through from your live calls into your CRM, which is a really cool feature. Crowdcast also has a multi-stream feature, which is actually what you'll need to be able to broadcast your Crowdcast call or meeting onto Facebook Live. But this multi-stream feature will also let you broadcast to multiple live platforms as well. So whether that's multiple Facebook Live pages, accounts, groups, events, or you could broadcast live to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. In regards to pricing, Crowdcast has three pricing options. The first is their light package at $49 per month. Then they've got a professional package at $89 per month. And that's actually the one that you're going to need if you want to be doing lives to Facebook Live or YouTube Live. And there's also a business plan as well for $195 per month. So it's definitely not on the cheaper end of things. So the main difference when you're comparing the professional package to the business package is the number of live attendees. It goes from 250 up to 500, and the cost for an extra live attendee goes from 30 cents down to 15 cents on the business plan. But keep in mind that these numbers for attendees aren't in relation to Facebook Live. This is only for people that are attending your call or your webinar on the actual platform. If you're gonna be using this for Facebook Live, which is what we're talking about in this video, then there may not be anyone that's actually attending on the actual platform. They'll be watching and interacting with you through Facebook Live. So if all you're interested in is using Crowdcast for Facebook Lives, then you'll definitely be able to get away with the professional plan. So those are our top six solutions for creating awesome Facebook Lives, whether it's bringing in screen share, bringing in one guest, two guests, or a heap of guests into your live streams. Now, as we said, there was a huge range in price. There's also a huge range in features and capabilities for the different solutions. Now, before we get to my number one tip to automatically getting more of your audience on your live stream, as soon as you go live, let's do a quick recap of the options and who I'd recommend each for. So if you just wanna go live on Facebook, the simplest and easiest way with no additional guests, then you can just use the Facebook website. 
If you're after the most amount of control for your live streams and you wanna bring in multiple screen shares, multiple cameras and guests and things as well, then you can look at OBS or Wirecast as a professional solution there. If you're on a Mac and you're looking for a really cheap and easy way to create a professional live stream where you get the full interaction with Facebook comments and interactions, then check out Ecamm Live. If you're looking for a really easy way to do a two-person live, a three-person live, and again, be able to monitor the comments and feature your comments, then Be Live TV might be the answer for you. And if you wanna do a Facebook Live with two people, three people, four people, or a lot more, then you could look at something like Zoom, which is a cheap alternative to Crowdcast, which will also let you do the same thing, but it's also gonna give you more analytics and integrations with things like Zapier. So now for my tip to help you get more of your audience onto your Facebook Lives automatically, the solution is to use LiveLeap. Now LiveLeap is a service that helps you automatically share out your Facebook Lives automatically the moment that you go live. So whether you're going live to a Facebook page, a group or an event, it's automatically gonna share it out to your audience on whatever pages, groups, Twitter even, or even put a link on your website saying that you're currently live on Facebook. So this is something if you're serious about doing Facebook Lives that I can't recommend strongly enough, it is the easiest way to automatically share out your lives the moment that you go live without you needing to do anything across a heap of different social platforms, including your website. So I'll put a link down in the description below if you wanna check out LiveLeap. Now, if you're going live on Facebook from your smartphone, there are some simple low cost gear that can help you get much better results. Check out the video linked on screen now for the best Facebook live gear for both iPhone and Android. I'll see you soon.